Let's have a go at another complex, unfamiliar question. We're going to solve for a and k. And so since there's two variables, this is another scenario of simultaneous equations. OK, notice that the a's are lined up, the k's are lined up, and so is my constant. So this has been set up for, for the elimination method. And you're probably used, used to using the subtraction and the addition. But today, I'm going to show you that you also have the dividing option. So a divided by a is just 1. 2 to the power k take 1 divided by 2 to the power 2k take 2 looks like this. Okay? And then we have 40 divided by 10, which is just 4. Over here, since my base are both in 2, I can move my denominator into my numerator. So I have 2k take 1, and then I have to subtract this power and make sure you use brackets because that's going to affect this negative right there. And this is equal to 4, and I can write 4 in base 2 as well. So hopefully you can see that we're going to equate the powers. I get 2, I get k, take 1, subtract 2k, and then add 2 to make 2. Okay. Now, k take away 2k is equal to negative k. Negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1. And that's equal to 2. When I move the k to this side and 2 to this side, I get 1 take away 2, which is equal to positive k. And so k is equal to negative 1. Alright, so we're halfway there now. Substituting k back into either equation will solve for a, and it doesn't matter which one it is because you're going to get the same answer for a either way. So my advice is just pick the easier of the two. In this case, I think the top equation is easier. So a is equal to, sorry, a times 2 to the power negative 1 take 1 is equal to 40. And that means a is equal to a times... 2 to the power negative 2 is equal to 40. A times 1 over 4 is equal to 40. And moving the 4 up, in other words, multiplying both sides by 4, we get one, A is 160. Okay. Now, to build some confidence in your exams, you want to make sure you've done this right. And we can check our answer using the second equation. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll call this our little check, and we're going to say a, which was 160, times by 2 to the power, 2 times k, which is negative 1, take away a further 2, hopefully it will work out to be 10, and if it does, we know we've done it right. So we have 160, times by 2 to the power, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 take away another 2 is negative 4. And we have 160 times by 1 on 2 to the power 4, which is the same as saying 1 on 16. And obviously the 16s will cancel, leaving our answer to be 10, which is the right-hand side. And we know we did it right. Okay. So, good luck with those questions.